Hey everyone, so if there's anything better than showing you guys what's happening in the garden through video, it's taking photographs of the garden. And that's one thing that we love to do over on Instagram and Facebook. And I know there's some of you on YouTube that don't follow us there, but would love to see what kind of photos we're taking in the garden because it gets real deep and close into what's happening around the garden, whether it be insects, a rock, some moss, some foliage, the flowers, even the water on the flowers or foliage and what better day to start this type of video than right after the rain so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do a video like this at least once a week possibly keep up with it on friday so that way you guys can expect that and as far as what we're doing in the garden because that's one thing we love to do is come out here take some photos of the garden and show you guys the little minute details that are happening here because i think it's absolutely wonderful when you get to see the little things that are happening throughout the garden so i hope you guys enjoy this type of video so we're going to go ahead and walk around and see what we find and talk about why we're taking that photo and show you exactly what that photo is going to look like all right, so I was actually gonna walk to the side of the garden and start out there, but I'm in here in the secret garden right away. This one stuck out right. I mean, this is a geranium that Angie loves so much. It's a hardy geranium called Boom Chocolata, and it just looks beautiful. It just started to bloom. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one and take a picture of this one. Then I'll pop that up on the screen so you guys can see what it's actually looking like right now. So the color on this one is awesome. The water droplets are awesome. I love this uh, this geranium, it's looking great. We have a geranium that's creeping up through the hydrangeas over in that time. Maybe that's one we'll go and take a picture of next so we get two different photos of two different hardy geraniums. All right, so walking out here, I saw this Dusty Miller here and I'm not sure how many people have actually seen a Dusty Miller bloom, but it has a beautiful yellow flower. There were some insects on here that I was trying to get for you guys, but um, they've all since gone. So I'm just gonna try to take a photo of the dusty middle flower so you guys can see what it actually looks like um, before it's blooming and right as it's blooming. All right, so here's a pretty cool one of what's happening in the garden right now. This Rose of Sharon is actually getting ready to bloom. It's got buds all over the place. And I see one that's ready to crack. So I think that'd be an awesome photo to take for you guys and show you exactly what that's looking like. All right guys, prepare yourselves because this one's gonna be a little bit, uh, maybe on the gross side, maybe on the brutal side, but I found an insect and you won't believe what it's actually doing. It's an assassin bug eating a Japanese beetle. It's pretty amazing to see that in the garden because all we've seen was Japanese beetles terrorizing the roses. And uh, this is kind of ironic because I wasn't expecting this. And I'm glad it's doing it because this is a hibiscus that has some big beautiful blooms and you'll see in the photo that are getting ready to open and the last thing i want is for these japanese beetles to start eating away at that as you can see he's got that little mandible in him which is kind of crazy to see that because i've seen it in photos but i've never seen these assassin bugs actually do that and he's trying to get away right now because i don't think he likes the fact that I'm taking photos of him. All right, and here we have one of Angie's favorite roses, Harlow Car, one that's already opening. Has some water on it, so we're gonna take some photos of that with the water in it so you guys can actually see that because I think it looks pretty cool. That's one thing that we enjoy seeing out here when we're in the garden is water on the flowers of the roses because it actually looks beautiful. Okay, so there's a lot to photograph in the garden. We're gonna go ahead and close it out here and show you guys 
Uh, a couple photos of some alliums that are getting ready to bloom because I think it looks awesome when they're getting ready to bloom. Almost like fireworks in the sky. And then right here next to it, I have a clematis, a bush clematis, the Stand By Me clematis that has a flower open as well, which I think will be pretty cool to share as far as a photo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I hope you guys enjoyed the photos in the garden. So once again, I think this is a video we're gonna try to keep up with once a week, specifically on a Friday. Hope you guys tune in to see this video because I think it's pretty awesome to show photos of what's happening in the garden, especially when we share most of our photography on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're curious to see what we're sharing throughout the whole week, make sure to go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Facebook because you'll see a lot more photos of what's happening. In this video, we're gonna to try to get a lot more detailed photos and sometimes we'll pull back and take a whole photo of what's actually going on, especially once these hydrangeas start to bloom. You're gonna see some beautiful photos of hydrangeas. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave you with these photos of this allium and the uh, bush clematis here.